What's up? Super happy to have you here today. It's Susie from HeyGrillHey.com and welcome to my backyard. Today we are making a restaurant classic right in our own backyards. That's right, we're doing smash burgers on the flat top with griddled onions, a homemade burger sauce, the whole nine yards. Let's do it. First step for your smash burgers is to assemble all of your key players. Smash burgers go historically fast. That's why they make them at fast food restaurants and at restaurants because they are quick service, which means you need to have everything ready to go, mise en place, everything in its place so that once those burgers hit the grill, you are ready to move fast. So let me walk you through what we've got here. I have two pounds of ground chuck. It's about 85, 15. You don't wanna go with the fat quantity lower than 15% or your burgers aren't gonna have that signature crispy edge and they're gonna be dry and crumbly. I have one yellow onion really thinly sliced. I have about a quarter cup of clarified butter. This is the secret that all of those restaurants use on their flat tops that give that like crispy buttery finish. Get yourself some clarified butter. It's also called ghee. You can buy it in most supermarkets. Uh, we also have American cheese. Yes, American cheese, because we are making American classic smash burgers and you gotta have the American cheese. We are also doing a burger sauce. So I have about a quarter cup of mayonnaise, three dill pickles that have been minced fine, and then we're gonna use a couple tablespoons of my everything barbecue sauce. You can use your favorite barbecue sauce. And then of course, for seasoning our burgers, we're using the 2020 NBBQA first place beef seasoning, ladies and gentlemen. It's mine, you can pick it up in my store. It's actually really, really delicious on burgers. Highly recommended. And then of course you need your favorite hamburger buns. Now this is either going to make four double stacked burgers or eight single patty cheeseburgers. So get enough buns for however much quantity you're gonna be making at home. I recommend staying away from a sesame topped bun for these burgers. The patties are gonna be a little bit smaller, so these ones are the perfect size, and that classic fast food finish is gonna have that nice buttered top instead of a sesame seed top. So that's what I opted for in the buns today. We're gonna start by preheating our flat top. These flat tops are awesome if you want that restaurant experience in your own backyard, but this recipe also works beautifully in a cast iron skillet on your stove top if that's what you got. We're gonna preheat ours to medium high heat. Now this griddle is massive. <laughs> We're only using three burners today. You definitely don't need one this large to do eight patties, but it's what we got. So that's what we're using today. All right, let's divide our burger patties evenly into sections because these are two, I have two pounds of meat and I'm gonna make eight patties. It makes it really easy to divide. You just go in half and then in half and then in half and then in half until you have eight even patties. If you are really um, detail oriented, you could actually get out a kitchen scale and measure, but these are gonna end up being about a quarter pound each and I'm just gonna eyeball them to make sure they're all the same size. Now we're not flattening these out. We are actually making little meat balls and we want our meatballs to be handled very lightly. We don't want too much mushing of the meat happening here. Because if you mess with the meat too much, you run the risk of making it tough. We really want these patties to be really like melt in your mouth, bite through tender. And if you overwork your meat, they'll be chewy. Our burger balls are made and ready to go on the flat top. But before we start cooking, we're gonna make our burger sauce. Cause like I said, everything moves quick. So we wanna have as much done in advance as possible. So I've got my mayonnaise to that. I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of barbecue sauce. Now, traditionally burger sauce is a mix of mayo, mustard, and ketchup, and sometimes pickles. I'm kind of cutting out a couple steps by using my everything sauce because it gives you the acidity of the mustard and the sweetness of the ketchup all in one so it kind of saves us a step and then you get that classic barbecue flavor which i personally just think is delicious then we're going to add in our minced pickles if you're a sweet pickle lover go ahead and use sweet pickles we like dill at our house so we just have some finely minced dill pickles give that a stir and then give it a taste if you feel like it needs more of that barbecue sauce i think i'm going to have to add a little bit more barbecue sauce to this one you can go ahead and add that in you want it to be a nice rosy pink color if you're familiar with fry sauce. It is the condiment of choice here in Utah. We're going for a fry sauce color, which is like really kind of rosy pink, almost a salmon color. Beautiful. Ooh, 
Ooh, that's good. That's gonna be awesome on our smash burgers. Okay, burger sauce is ready. Set that aside. We have our onions, our cheese, our clarified butter, our seasoning, and you're also going to need a spatula. Now this is a nice flat spatula. I don't recommend using one that has the lines in it or any holes in it because your meat will come up through those holes. You don't want that. You want a nice flat spatula and then we're actually gonna use our seasoning bottle to get a nice press on our burgers when those hit the grill. Do you think I can? Oh, dang it. I've never done this before, but now I'm determined. Dang it, I was close. That landed on there, but then it fell off. I didn't break the lid, by the way. Let's head over to the flat top and start these smash burgers. All right, grill is preheated. I got my cooking station set up. We're gonna start with our onions. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this clarified butter right on the flat top. You can see it's nice and warm. It's gonna melt right away. Oh, it already smells so good. Okay. And then to my clarified butter, you don't have to be shy here. You can really get after it with the butter. I'm gonna add in my onions. And these are thin slices, so they're gonna cook quick and they're gonna start to caramelize. So once your onions have been on for just a minute, divide them into eight little piles. And then, Onto each of our piles, we're gonna place a patty. Or a ball, a burger ball, burger ball. I've ever smelled in my life. Oh, easy tiger. Beautiful. Okay, season the top with your beef seasoning all over. If you don't have this, you can just use salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder in there. That'll give you a nice classic burger flavor. Let these cook for just a quick minute. And then we're gonna give these a flip. Oh, that's not crispy enough. Hold on. I'm gonna wait and flip the others. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Look at those caramely onions right on there. <laughs> that makes me happy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Careful. Okay, can you come get some tight? Burgers are flipped, it's time to add our cheese. One good, nice slice of American melty cheese. On top of each patty. And then, we gotta toast our buns. So I'm gonna add a little bit more butter over here. Toast these buns. And then, because I'm a little bit of a lush, I'm gonna take some more of this clarified butter and brush it over the top of our buns. And that'll melt down as the buns kind of like steam and heat up on the grill. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Buns go fast, so keep an eye on them. We just want them nice and toasty underneath, but not burned. Yeah, like that one. Watch out. It does smell like a diner in here. That is the best compliment you've ever given me. Thank you. Okay, our toppers are there. Bottom buns are looking good. Okay, we're gonna give each of our bottom buns some of our burger sauce. Oh, I made a mess. Todd. Okay. <laughs> come here, come over here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. So see how our cheese is melting down and getting nice and crispy? And all these onions are nice and dark and you can see this dark color right here around the edges of our patties. That means we're gonna have all of that crispy griddled flavor on the bottom. It also means that they are ready to come off the griddle. Yes. Double? Well, yeah, we're doing double cheeseburgers today, Todd. It's your lucky day. Oh, come on. Woo! Quick tip. Always scrape your grill while it's still hot. This is my best day. <laughs> Dude, this takes me 100% back to my childhood. So I grew up in a restaurant family and at our restaurant, we cooked burgers on a flat top in the back, just like this, the American cheese, everything. I used to stand at the big walk-in fridge and just eat American cheese as a kid because it reminded me of these burgers. And I am over the moon excited to take a bite of one of these. Ah, uh, right here. There's extra crispy onions right on the front of this bite. It is calling my name. Hello, burger sauce. Mm. Dude, this is joyous. This is so good. The buns just melt away, but you get the crisp from when we cooked them on the flat top. American cheese is so creamy and salty. These griddled onions, adds texture and flavor. And the beef itself is so juicy because we used the right amount of fat. We didn't overwork it. They're incredibly tender. This is every single thing you've ever wanted in a diner cheeseburger, but 10 times better. You have to make these ones at home. Please, when you do, use the hashtag HeyGrillHate, snap a photo, post it online. That way I can see it and cheer you on on your journey to becoming a backyard barbecue hero, or at least a backyard burger hero. <laughs> Burgers, you are beautiful. Give me some of that. Is that what the photographers say? Todd, how's the cheeseburger? Oh, by far one of the best I've ever had. <laughs> cheeseburgers, kids? Yeah. You heard cheeseburgers. Yeah. They all came. <laughs> okay, you're gonna have to like two hands hold, squish, and munch. Is there onions in this? Yep. Yay. Just eat it. Okay, burger sauce. <laughs> the burger sauce on there. What do you guys think about the sauce? Nom. That is good. Nom. So the sauce has mayo, everything sauce, and pickles. That's yummy. Is that a yummy mm. burger? <laughs> I don't know if you like it, but it's all over your face. Mm. What do you think? Numny. Numny? Numny. Todd's going to finish that one off for me. He's doing the happy dance. <laughs> so good. It's so good. Oh, look it. I got the burger hug. I think he liked it. <laughs>